What's up, guys? Doing an early prediction for Eduardo Mora versus Montserrat Conejo or Montserrat Ruiz. If you try to do fight study on her, find any tape on her, you'll need to look up Montserrat Conejo, not Ruiz. I waste a lot of time trying to find Ruiz. Um, so this is one of the early fights on the card, women's fight. Mora is a minus 400 something favorite right now. And rightfully so. I think it's pretty obvious to anybody that watches the promotion a lot that uh, Mora is being positioned kind of as the A side here. Um, she's obviously close with Jalton Almeida, who is the, you know, he's the main event in uh, in this card. And uh, it seems like she's kind of being groomed to come in as a prospect to the UFC already, even though there's not really a lot of information out there about Mora. All that we have is really a contender series fight of hers against Janina Silva, where she took her down, controlled her on the ground for most of the time. Um, nothing super impressive really in that fight other than just the dominant control. Uh, and... Uh, she has a very great frame for fighting when you look at her. You can tell she's got a little bit of this it factor going on. Um, that's something I like to kind of bet with if I see that because uh, it's your senses telling you something about somebody. And this girl seems to have a little bit of that. I mean, you know, last time when she was on Contender Series, she had Jalton Almeida with her in the post-fight press conference. And, I mean, they were making a whole show of 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 her win and everything like that so you watch promotion long enough you can kind of see the signs of when they're positioning somebody and they think somebody has some potential behind them um obviously i think she is well styled to take on montserrat conejo man conejo's tape was hard to watch for the studying of this guys so i gotta be honest with you because uh, she has some boring ass fights in the ufc i mean she might be like bottom of the barrel uh in terms of competition level she is got beat by Jacqueline Amora. Before that, she got beat by somebody else. I can't remember. But um, her last win was against Cheyenne Buys or Cheyenne Vlismas, as she now goes by. Um, the fucking funny fight where Cheyenne Buys tells her she'll follow her home after the fight ends because uh, Conejo spit in her face or called her a puta to her face or something like that. I don't know. It, it was some kind of exchange they had on the ground. And... Uh, Man, Cheyenne's ghetto side came out there for a second, so uh, that was funny to see. But uh, she barely won that fight, dude. I mean, she just does not, man, she just doesn't have the skills to win UFC-level fights against, like, motivated women that have physical advantages against her, like Mora. So, you know, I, I mean, I don't see her do anything other than drag people to the ground and try to control them, and she's going to be at a physical disadvantage here. Just for me eyeballing it, I can tell Mora's going to be the bigger fighter. Uh, Conejo is pretty small. And Mora is pretty big. Um, so I think it's pretty obvious they're positioning here. Mora to get an easy UFC win. Um, does she have the experience and the resume of Conejo? No, but Conejo ha hasn't really accomplished anything amazing inside the UFC from my perspective of what I've seen on tape. So... I would take more here. Uh, my money would be on her. I don't know how you would bet it. Money line is minus 400 something. Probably not worth chalking, but, um, you know, if you got to pick a winner, go with Mora. All right, later, guys.